So I have a bit of a uh, conversation I want to share with you. And I'm driving in the car, it just came to me, so I want to share what I'm thinking about it. And that is this question of what is whole form. I use this term often. What I mean by whole form is that everything is contained in a singular aspect of a moment in time where you're not separating out this and that and this other thing, or even worse in some ways, doing the comparative like this is like that. You're able to see what's present and where you are and what's going on for you in regard to what's actually happening in the moment as it's happening, right? As opposed to the idea that something's happening, but it's really something else, or it's connected to this other thing, or there's this thing, but then there's these other pieces. It's not like that. In any given moment, everything is happening in an entirety, and it's a whole form structure. And that's a really important thing to, to be able to comprehend. But I want to break down the whole form into two aspects that are constantly present, intertwined. They're singular and yet constantly present. You can think about them in terms of their relationship, because it's relation, right? So you could say whole form is like a mother and child. That entity, the mother and child, is one thing, even though there's two entities, the mother and the child. Well, in the same way, in the idea of whole form as I'm using it here, when I'm working with clients and helping them, what I'm sharing is this idea that there's these two pieces, and these two pieces are this. There's the structural form, how they are unto themselves. You could say the nature of their being, how they're being in the world, and the being in the world takes in things like the way they're perceiving the world, how they feel about themselves, how they feel about the world, their experience of what they're noticing, what they're not noticing, what they're taking in and making sense of, and what's being left out. All of that is part of the structural form. And when someone is well-formed, what happens is the structural form, the, the well-formedness in structure, means they're taking in what's important to them for them to notice, to have both a pervasive sense of well-being, in addition to important information that's related to what we can call the functional side. So there's the structural side, and this other side, this intertwined piece, is the functional side. And the functional side is this piece which goes like this. There's an intention that you hold at any given moment. Right now I'm driving, I want to get home, I want to stay safe on the road, I don't want to be hit by another car, I don't want to hit another car. All of those are functional concerns. So to do that well, I have to be doing certain things. I have to have a certain competency in the way I apply myself in the and that's related to my motivation. My motivation here, again, being to drive safely from where I was to my home, which is where I'm going, and to pay attention to all of the things I need to pay attention to as a safe and secure driver to make it there successful. And to do that, the more structurally well-formed I am, in other words, the more I have this sense of well-being in my person, the easier for it is to me to pay my attention, to put my attention, rather, on the outside, to do what I call externalizing. So the, the more secure, balanced and grounded we are internally, the more we can externalize in terms of our behaviors to connect our intentions, the way we act, the operate, the function of how we perform in the world, to getting the outcomes we put in place for ourselves, what I'm calling intentions, so that this intertwining between the structural and the functional really allows us to perform in the world in the way that we're at our best. And this is what I really mean when I refer to being at your best. It's not, oh wow, I'm, I'm in this kind of zoned flow state where I feel great and I'm you know, in, in tune with the world and everything is wonderful and to use a common new age expression, you know, it's all kumbaya, right? I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that it's performing at the highest level of my physical capability or my behavioral output where I'm disregarding how I am in the world or who I am or whether or not what I'm doing relates to the nature of my being and who I want to be and perceive myself to be. It's the combination, it's that linkage between doing something in a way where it expresses fully who I am in the world, who I know myself to be, and how I want to be, as well as performing at a high level of competency in terms of getting outcomes and realizing the intentions I hold. And those intentions feed back in, it creates a loop back to me being more of who I want to be and how I want to be in the world. So that's what I want to share with you, this idea of the whole form structure is really these two things that are wound together, almost like the thread that makes a rope, and the rope is one thing, even though it's comprised of many threads. And these two threads of whole formedness in the way that I work and the work that I do inside the mythos of process is this idea of the structural well formedness and functional well formedness that intertwine to create performance in the world, which is the realization of my intentions that feed back into me becoming more of who I want to be in an ongoing way. And this is fundamentally part of the process that I refer to as remembering yourself. This is coming back to yourself because part of being who you are, part of being yourself, 
is remembering to act in the world in a way to produce outcomes and intentions that are the ones that you want to produce, which allow you to be more of who you are. So if that's useful to you, I hope it was that you take advantage of it and bring it out into the way you're acting and performing yourself in the world. And if you're interested in more about this, feel free to visit my blog, which is at josephreggio.com, or visit me more on some of the other work that I do here um, on Facebook, or if you're seeing this in one of the videos I've released on YouTube, or wherever it is you're coming into contact with it, feel free to you know take advantage of that, and join me, read what I put out, look at my videos, and most of all, if it's really interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe and become part of the sphere that I like to operate in, which I call the mythosphere, after the work that I do called the mythosome process. Glad I was with you today, glad you were here with me, and hopefully